Some time ago, the Swedish government announced that it would implement the 12th military assistance to Ukraine. The assistance is worth 250 million Swedish kronor and includes logistical support for training the Ukrainian Air Force to operate JAS-39 Gripen fighters and other weapons. This means that in the near future, Swedish Gripen fighters will also join the fight, which is undoubtedly good news for the Ukrainian army. The Swedish SOB's JAS-39 Gripen fighter, along with the Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon fighters, are known as the masterpieces of European warplanes, embodying the highest level of the European aviation industry. In 2017, Saab came back with the latest improvement to the JAS-39, the Gripen E, an artificially intelligent version of the Gripen. In this video, we talk about how strong the Gripen fighter is. Saab's JAS-39 Gripen was originally a lightweight Swedish combat aircraft based on its own national characteristics, but the aircraft's low price and versatility have made it a popular aircraft on the international market, especially among small and medium-sized countries. In the late 1990s, Sweden partnered with British Aerospace for the Gripen's export sales. The UK, Czech Republic, Hungary, South Africa, Thailand, and Brazil were all Gripen customers, and Sweden upgraded the Gripen. The airframe structure, avionics, and engines were upgraded, and an air refueling unit was added. This new modified model was called the JAS 39 CD. This was followed by the introduction of the more capable Swedish JAS 39 EF fighters. This fighter was the official production version of the Gripen NG Demonstrator. The Gripen E is a single seat fighter, and the Gripen F is a two seat fighter. Saab now refers to both types as the Gripen E. The Gripen E is the most advanced version of the Gripen series. Compared to its predecessors, the Gripen E is powered by the American F414G engine. This engine is a development of the F414, the engine of the US Super Hornet fighters, and has been improved based on the single engine characteristics of the Gripen. The F414G had a maximum thrust of 98 knots a 20% increase over the F-404 but only a 200 kg increase in weight. The increased thrust allowed the Gripen E fighter to increase its maximum takeoff weight from 14 to 16 tons and its cruise speed from Mach 1 to Mach 1.2. The fighter's pylon was also increased from 8 to 10, allowing it to carry more weapons. The Gripen E is also fitted with the US ES-05 active phased array radar. This radar has an advantage over the previous PS-05 Pulse Doppler radar, with the ability to detect 12 targets simultaneously and launch attacks on 6 of them. For weapons, the Gripen E no longer uses the American AIM-120 but instead uses the Meteor air-to-air -air missile. The Meteor missile is fitted with the Ramjet, which has a maximum speed of Mach 4, making it a rather formidable weapon. In addition to this, the Gripen E has improved data link bandwidth and capacity and upgraded electronics. Aside from resembling the Gripen in appearance, the Gripen E has been redesigned almost from the inside out. The fighter, which the Swedes have put all their efforts into improving, applies almost all of the advanced technology of the four and a half generation fighters and is considered to be the current king of light fighters. Currently, the Swedish Air Force has confirmed that it will purchase 60 Gripen E and Brazil 36. After the 1970s, four generations of fighters entered service and gradually became major players in the air war after the end of the Cold War. The JAS-39 Gripen was developed to replace Saab's classic third-generation fighter, the Saab 37 Vigan. JAS is an acronym for the Swedish words jacked, attack, and spanning, meaning that the fighter is a multi-role combat aircraft that combines combat, attack, and reconnaissance. At the time, aircraft from the Warsaw Pact and NATO members frequented Swedish airspace, with the Soviet Su-27 being the most threatening. So Sweden wanted to study a new combat aircraft for countermeasures. Since the closest distance from the Soviet Union to Sweden was only 200 kilometers, the new fighter did not have to be designed as a large, twin-engined aircraft. 
The purpose of the new fighter was to intercept foreign aircraft approaching the Swedish coast and return fire on invading fighters, assuming the role of Sweden's homeland air defense. So at the beginning of the design, the new fighter aircraft basically determined the idea of a light single-engine fighter aircraft. Of course, this also has a certain relationship with Sweden's own strengths. If the budget is enough, who does not want to develop a more powerful dual-engine heavy fighter? Although Sweden's military industry is technologically advanced, it is only a small Nordic country compared to the Soviet Union, the United States, France, and other countries. The versatile design of the Gripen fighter is for this reason. The Swedish Gripen is typical of the multi-role combat aircraft of the 1990s. The main mission of this type of fighter is bombing, but it is balanced with some air combat capability. In terms of air combat capability, the multi-role combat aircraft are no match for the air superiority fighters. However, these fighters usually have good maneuverability and acceleration and can selectively avoid combat, making it difficult for fighters to catch them. If equipped with two powerful air-to-air -air missiles, it is entirely possible to give air superiority fighters a sudden strike, so multi-role combat aircraft also have a strong chance of battlefield survival. Saab began development of the JAS-39 Gripen in 1980. The prototype first flew in 1988 and entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996. With an empty weight of 6.6 .6 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 14 tons, the Gripen is a small fighter. The Gripen has a similar aerodynamic profile to the Saab 37, with a canard delta wing design. In the airframe design, the Gripen uses a wide range of new technologies and computer simulations to reduce the weight of the aircraft. The use of composite materials accounts for 25% to 30% of the fuselage structure. Carbon fiber composites are used for the tail, wing beams, landing gear doors, and skins. The Gripen's fuselage structure is built in several parts, with the wings in seven pieces and the fuselage in three segments, which are joined together at the assembly stage, eliminating the weight gain associated with traditional joining methods. The Gripen is powered by a General Dynamics RM-12 turbofan engine. This engine was a collaboration between General Electric and Volvo Aero based on the F404-400 engine. Although the Gripen had only one engine, its lightweight and canard delta wing design gave it a high degree of maneuverability. The Gripen's cruising speed was close to Mach 1, and it could reach a maximum speed of Mach 2. Saab developed the Gripen as an air superiority fighter, but the Gripen entered service as an attack aircraft. As a multi-role combat aircraft, the Gripen could carry different weapons depending on the mission. For ground attack missions, for RB-75 air-to-surface missiles and the DWS-39 air-to-surface missile can be mounted. The RB-75 is a close-range air-to-surface tactical missile developed by Hughes Incorporated and is the longest-produced precision-guided weapon in the West. The RB-75 uses television guidance and can accurately attack armored targets such as tanks. The missile has been battle-tested in the Iran-Iraq War, the Gulf War, and many others, and its performance is very reliable. The DWS-39 itself is unpowered, and the warhead can be fitted with cluster bombs, anti-runway bombs, anti-tank mines, and small bombs. The Gripen can carry two of Saab's own RBS-15F anti-ship missiles on anti-ship missions. The missile is the only anti-ship missile in the West with throwable external propellers. The missile is powered by two solid rocket boosters at takeoff, which are jettisoned when the missile reaches cruising altitude. When approaching the target, it adopts a low-altitude sea-skimming flight to avoid radar. The missile uses inertial guidance during the mid-flight phase. Inertial radar guidance is used at the end of the flight, and the range is about 90 kilometers. It can carry a 200-kg semi-armor-piercing demolition warhead. For air-to-air -air operations, the Gripen can carry an AIM-120 medium-range air-to-air missile. However, the Swedish Air Force did not order a large number of AIM-120 missiles, and only 100 were purchased. In the future, the Gripen, 
as well as improved versions of the Gripen, should be fitted with the Meteor air-to-air -air missile, a joint European development. For short-range attacks, the Gripen can also carry AIM-9L and AIM-9J missiles. The Gripen is also equipped with a 27mm Book 27 gun for aerial combat in the fairing on the lower left side of the belly. Overall, the Gripen can carry a wide range of weapons for a variety of purposes, which fits the Gripen's multi-role combat aircraft positioning. Saab has promised to synchronize the delivery of the fighters to its own country and Brazil at a later time. Although the Gripen E fighter is very good, but all signs point to it, the fighter is unlikely to join the war anytime soon. The odds are that the Gripen, which Sweden is assisting Ukraine with and training Ukrainian pilots with, is either an early model Gripen or a Gripen CD fighter.